there is smoke, there is fire. What's up guys, it's me Smokey and today we're coming back with another clip. Today we're gonna talk about testing my uh, test bench because I already built a test bench like uh, one and a half week ago, something like that. And I didn't make uh, quiet proper tests. So I just want to record that today and just uh, compare how that uh, how my test bench gonna gonna work if I gonna compare to my PC build, yeah. And uh, today we're gonna make the test. We're gonna test the CPU, we're gonna test the M6000, we're gonna test the motherboard and we're gonna test also whatever we can test yeah about the motherboard x99a gaming pro from the msi uh, carbon yeah of course is uh, overclocked uh, motherboard so you can easy overclock on the on the motherboard your dungeon heart is being attacked by just switching that that bottom you know around you know and it's going to the 11 levels yeah and the overclock on that cpu already is 4.5 5 gigahertz so uh, this is quite big overclock like for that motherboard you know because uh, on my other build i have uh, 3.6 standard overclock you know so this what i have in here is really total overclock you know 5.7 is i think the world record has quite good performance right now you know so be it game loaded okay guys like you can see i already set up that uh, cpu for the 4.4 and this is the level 10 because on the level 11 my Cinebench uh, crashed and I cannot do the test you know so I set up my CPU for the 4.4 and now we're gonna jump to the Cinebench and we're gonna test the real-time Cinebench yeah game loaded Okay, I'm quite happy from that uh, CPU score, you know, because it's not not that bad, you know, 2.2238, you know, if I'm gonna switch off the OBS, it's gonna go to the 2258, 2264, something like that, you know, so, uh, yeah, the, the, the still the 6950X, still good performance CPU, you know. Game loaded. Okay, all colors on the motherboard can be controlled. But uh, because I put overclock right now, I cannot change any color. So my main color is the red. And this is the overclocking color. So yeah, expect that. Okay, about M6000, you know, the M6000 is a ridiculous expensive card. It's mostly the some corporations or uh, kind of big uh, studios buying that kind of cards, you know, or big oil companies, whatever, yeah, Pixar, Walt Disney, Porsche, whatever, yeah. Uh, but that kind of card is uh, quite different, you know, than the uh, normal GTX because have the NVIDIA desktop manager uh, setup, you know, and also have NVIDIA control panel setup by your, you know, productivity and all the shit, you know. I'm not the big fan of that uh, card, you know, I have one of them, but uh, for the testing, you know, so uh, yeah. The thing is about this card, it's uh, quiet like Titan X. Uh, Maxwell so uh, I expect that that same uh, kind of performance today like from the Titan X Maxwell you know <clears throat> on the MSI after burner you cannot uh, clock that card you cannot do it any core clock or memory clock you can just only uh, set up the fan speed so that card is not clockable uh, be mind on that yeah okay let, let's jump to some uh, free, 3d mark you know benchmarks and we're gonna test that card
Okay, the Fire Strike uh, 13,768 score. The graphics score 14,574. So this is not not that bad, you know. Uh, 71, 56, uh, 57 uh, FPS average, you know. Uh, physical score uh, 27, 4, 21. So this is not that bad. Also combined score 6,370. Okay, we're just gonna jump to the crystal disk mark, you know, and we're gonna see the hard drive writing and the reading and all the shit. Pure, pure testing, you know. Okay, the SSD working like it's supposed to work and is quite fast performer. Okay, let's jump to my PC build and we're gonna just uh, compare my standard clo overclocking on the on my PC build and we're gonna compare also how the Titan X Pascals on the SLI gonna crash the m6000 okay guys so this is the standard overclock on that 6950x cpu And right now we have 1854, the score of the CPU. So this is not that bad also, the uh, CPU score. I just want to compare how the score gonna look like when you're gonna just overclock slightly and how it's gonna look when you just overclock to the maximum, you know. It's not even maximum 4.4 4, 4, 4 because the uh, world record is still 5.7. So this is the maximum, you know. Okay guys, about overclocking the Titan X Pascal on the SLI. I set up that cards for the 1630 on the GPU clock, but uh, my benchmark failed, you know, so I dropped to the 1680 and I make my memory speed also to the 5054, I think, something like that, you know. And uh, yeah, the performance was really good and I was happy about it, you know. I record every, everything on the 4K monitors, so this is quite still good performance. Let's check that benchmark, you know, so we're gonna see what is going on. Okay, I hit the fire strike uh, very hard, maybe not like Kingpin because, because Kingpin have over 40,000 the score, yeah? But I, I hit with a 22,764, so this is not uh, not bad performance, you know. Graphic score is uh, 30,045, physics score is 22,168 uh, and combined score is 8,000. 198 so uh, this is quite good performance for me I, i'm not ex expecting uh, i don't know the nuclear reactor you know in in here but uh, yeah it's, it's still good performance so that will be all from today for that from the test side guys and if you was interesting about how my performance going on that kind of uh, stuff you can see that today and you can compare with your stuff also and uh, on the end guys if you like it that clip just let me know in the comments below if you like it thumbs up guys and if you don't like it you know exactly what so be it smoke wins the battle is over fatality i'll be back
catch you to the next clip guys take care keep good